Fly fishing for me is therapy and relief from anything that weighs heavy on me. I mean, we all have problems, whether it's money or work or relationships, health problems, your car breaks down. Personally, I struggle with anxiety that can be debilitating. I don't talk about it much, people don't realize it, but I deal with it pretty much every single day. And fly fishing relieves me of that. Standing in the water, tying on a fly, deciding which fly to throw, catching a fish or missing a fish. The worry and the anxiety, the problems, everything just disappears. My name is Travis Swartz. I'm a filmmaker and a fly fisherman from Boise, Idaho. This summer and fall, I'm, I'm combining my love for filmmaking and fly fishing to produce a documentary film for the organization Real Recovery, which is a nonprofit group that hosts three-day fly fishing retreats for men with cancer. I want to make a documentary that explores why fly fishing. I mean, why is it so important to those of us who really love it? I mean, why do we love it? How does it relax us and rejuvenate and restore us. I was introduced to Real Recovery by one of my best friends, Reese Ferguson. Uh, we've been friends for quite a while, since high school, about 20 some years, I guess, um, a long time. He's a fly fisherman as well, and recently he was diagnosed with skin cancer. September 15th, 2011 was the day I got the phone call. The spot that the doctor took off my leg, he called and he said, well, this is, this is melanoma. It's a stage 2B and it was 2.1 millimeters deep. And he said, if this was three millimeters, you and I are probably having a different conversation. You know, my mind went to, I want to be around for my wife and kids. And I'd also like to spend some more time on the water. So. I was thinking about family and some hook and hackle and trying to fool the trout, probably within the first half an hour that I got the news. I just remember when Reese called me and told me, you know, that he had been diagnosed with cancer. And, and we had talked before that about the fact that, that it was a possibility. Within like five minutes, I'm thinking, wow, I, I need to step out and maybe, you know, tell a guy, you know, sort of what I really think of him as, as a person and as a friend. And, and I need to say, this is bullshit. We shouldn't be having to talk about this at all, about mortality. We're too young. Um, and then the, the second thing I thought was, yeah, well, when are, when are we going fishing? I have no idea what to expect from the real recovery event. Um, there's going to be other men, there's going to be of probably all different levels of fly fishing. There's going to be people with different experiences and probably different types and levels of cancer. So how that all comes together is kind of the exciting part of this process because I don't know what's going to happen and, and what kind of stories we're going to see. The good news is I've got the support of family, friends, and doctors and at this point, no other additional cancer has been found and gives me the opportunity to spend a lot of healing time on the water. <laughs>